Well, this is where uh, on July 14th, 1940, here before my friend in the high company of the 137th Regiment, uh, 35th Division, was killed in action. In the last 75 years, many World War II veterans made the pilgrimage back to the battlefields where they once fought, where they once suffered under unthinkable circumstances, where they shared stories with their foxhole buddies, where they were wounded, and where they lost friends. In November 2019, 96-year-old World War II veteran C.O. Bauer returned to the former battlefields of Europe for probably the last time. His unit, the 377th Regiment of the 95th Infantry Division, landed here on Omaha Beach in Normandy, September of 1944. And even though CO's unit did not see action here in Normandy, this place is a very special to him. After landing in Normandy, he resided in the town of Treviers. The town was destroyed during the heavy fights in June of 1944, and in the months that the 377th Regiment stayed here, the men raised money among the ranks to rebuild the church that was also destroyed. To honor the 377th, the people of Treviers created a stained glass window in the church, which is dedicated to the regiment. After the war, CO returned twice with some of his war buddies that are not among us anymore. And we certainly should remember Steve Bonner, my fox old buddy, who was the one that contributed for that beautiful stained glass window. And uh, I wouldn't have known about it. Uh, didn't know about it until we came here 10 years ago and it was arranged to come here and view that uh, view that window. But that is not the only reason why Normandy is so important for CEO. As a matter of fact, two of his hometown friends are buried at the Normandy American Cemetery in Colville-sur-Mer. One of them is Roland J. Hill, killed in action on July 14th, 1944, here in Normandy. That's good. So that's that, that road, okay? So Roland Hill with his company saw his first combat, the first shell on that road. Uh huh. That's where the 35th Division during World War II they, they saw their first combat right here. What CEO did not know was that two weeks before his arrival, my friend and Normandy tour guide Florent Plana invited me to accompany CEO on his last return. To make it more special for him, we did some archival research and were able to locate the site where his friend was killed. Now, Roland J. Hill served in Company I of the 137th Infantry Regiment of the 35th Infantry Division. His unit had arrived in Normandy on July 7, 1944. The division's task was to reinforce the 29th and 30th Infantry Division in their push to St. Lo. The 137th's first combat action took place on July 10, when they attacked the town of La Meuf, of which the Germans had fortified the church in order to defend it. Roland J. Hill entered combat two days later. Company I was part of the 3rd Battalion of the 137th Regiment. On July 14, the company's headquarters was at the hamlet of La Creterie. The battalion's objective for that day was to capture the crossroad of Highway No. 2 and No. 3. It would be Ron's third and final day of combat. But before we took CO to that location, we showed him the 35th Division monument at the Church of La Meuf. Because even though they did not fight together, both CO plus Roland and another friend were drafted into this division in 1943. Three of us show in a in one of my better pictures 
when we were drafted and left for the Army in January 1943. Actually, I'm the one survivor from the, in that picture because Roland Hill and Howard Berry and I all went to the 35th Division. Both Howard and Roland were killed and I was, I was transferred out to the, and eventually went, came into combat in, combat in France here with the 95th Infantry Division. Of course, I, I was wounded, yeah, in, in November 1944. Roland was killed, of course, if you're recording, in July, July 14th, 1944. Howard was killed up, up near the German border. Well, I, I think it's great that I was able to find it and come here. And uh, Roland was my friend. So for me, it's a pilgrimage to get here and find out his last days and where he fought. So that's, that's a great experience for me. And I thank you for uh, researching it out and, uh, and, <coughs> and making it possible for me to be here. At age 96, it's a modern miracle. This is where, uh, on July 14th, 1944, the, my friend and I company of the 137th Regiment, uh, 35th Division, was killed in action. Roland Hill was a great friend of mine. I went to the army with them, and and uh, I actually went to high school in Carson City, Michigan, with him. He was a couple. Uh, he was two classes behind me. He was also a great baseball, American baseball pitcher in high school. He was good. He was a good athlete, and so uh, I mourn his passing, but. Uh, here, here yet, but I have spent a lifetime to honor my departed comrades, and here I'm still doing it. This is closure. I can die smiling. Now. I can pass away smiling. I've said that before. But uh, in life, you uh, you're always looking to learn more. You're always looking to satisfy your curiosity. And and for me, this represents closure. And I'll be able to to help Rollins' descendants, his, his relatives that survive, I'll be able to provide them some closure too, so that, they're, so that they'll be more, more happy about what happened to Rollins, my friend and my comrade.
Howard Berry, who it was returned to the USA and buried in the family plot at Alma, Michigan, north of Ithaca. Uh, he's kind of lost in the family plot back, back in the cemetery. I decided that since Howard was lost and I'd been able to live this long back in the Alma Cemetery, that we have a cemetery, a devoted section for veterans, so that his niece and I did cooperate to uh, to pay for uh, his burial there and a cross, which is correct. Purple hearts, he had two, and a silver star, and a correct cross in honor of him. His body is in the cemetery. When I get home, I'm going to work on one for Roland because um. he's here in the Alma Cemetery. So I owe it to him. It's my duty. So that's my story here uh, for, all, for you to know. Topsy showed that Roland was hit in the head by shrapnel from artillery. I hope he never knew what hit him. May he rest in peace. <laughs>